Well, hello again, everyone. Of course, this is Anita Newsom, and I am Anita and the Biz Coach again here to share valuable information on finding and writing to apply for those grants for your business or your nonprofit. All right, so this is a grant. Uh, get what I like to call a uh, get ready for grant series. There's so many things you have to do in preparation before you even think about applying for grants. There's a lot of work that goes into it beforehand. So you want to prepare and be prepared when you do come across some funding that you want to apply for. One of the things that you would definitely have to talk about in detail is what, your what. What are you gonna do with the funding that you're requesting? Do you need this funding for, let's say, feeding the homeless? Do you need it to buy more materials to produce a product that you're, you know, patenting and want to expand on that? Do you need equipment for a particular youth program that you're starting or wanting to start? These are the important things that you will need to be able to elaborate on in great detail when you are applying for grants. Now, how would you think if someone was asking you for your money, don't you want to know what it's about? What they're going to do with your money? Well, the, the funders are the same way. They need to know and they want to know in detail what you're going to do with their money. And they want to make sure that it aligns with what they do and the things that they fund. And it also has to align with your mission and your purpose for whatever your business or nonprofit serves, all right? So before I have shared in some of my series before about your why, your why is very important. Why do you need this money? What type of problem are you going to be solving? We'll be talking about that in another episode that I'll be posting. But we wanna know right now, what are you gonna do with the funding that you're gonna get? or that you're hoping to get, right? You want to be able to explain, like I've always said in great detail, about what this is particular for. Why do you need this particular printer? What does this printer do that a regular, uh, you know, another type of printer does not do? What is it about this type of material that you have to use or these ingredients, these special ingredients from this, you know, from another country or whatever it is that you're needing this funding for? What makes it so special to produce that thing that you're trying to do? So you've got to explain that. You've got to be able to elaborate on it as in much detail as possible. So make sure you have all this information ready. All, so like I've always said, you need to sit down, think about it. You know, yeah, you know you needed to, you know, uh, buy new gym equipment uh, for your gym or your, um, your, your uh, personal trainer business, but you got to explain to the funders why you need it. Why do you need a particular brand? Why is this brand better than another brand? Why is it that this particular thing is going to help you accomplish the goal that you're trying to accomplish? So be able to answer that. What do you know with this, these people's money? You got to be able to tell them what you want to do with it. So take some time, contemplate, and think on it. What and how are you going to explain in great detail your what? This is your first what. What are you going to do with the money that you receive when you receive this grant? You need to be able to say that. You need to be able to, you know, if anybody asks you, you know, uh, how much you need and what you need it for, you should always be able to say that, especially along with your why. Why you're doing this in the first place. All right. So knowing. Uh, and being able to explain uh, without, you know, hesitation, you know exactly what you need, you know why you need it, and you're, you're able to explain that. And, you know, sometimes we're able to explain things better uh, verbally than in writing. Um, so that's why people like me exist, to help you with those things. You write out your your, you know, reason for needing the funding, and maybe someone like me, you know, can help you look over it and say, you know what, this sounds really good, but what I would do here instead is maybe say this, or let's add this to it to make it more compelling, okay? So your what you're going to do with the money is just as important as your why, all right? So as always, I like to share some information about grants that I 
come across. And being that this is February and um, Black History Month, I at least wanted to share one that I come across um, that is for Black business owners. And it's called the Black Business Accelerator. And it is actually funded by Amazon. And uh, what it sounds like is you have to be doing business with Amazon to be able to apply for this. The description just says um, that the purpose of this program is to help foster entrepreneurial growth for Black business owners and facilitate their success as sellers. Successful applicants have the opportunity to receive financial support, business guidance and mentorship, and marketing and promotional support. So they're doing things, they're doing some in-kind stuff, meaning they're not only giving um, financial support, but they're giving mentoring support and promotional support as well, all right? Um, it looks like there's some different estimates on the opportunity for this assistance. At first, it says $500 credit to assist with your startup and operational costs for eligible newly launched sellers. So this is for new startups. $400 in sponsored products, advertising credits to increase exposure for your business. So like some free um, marketing there for your business. Free imaging services for up to 50 products to help showcase your products. And $10,000 cash grants for selected sellers. And they're working along with Hello Alice as well. So this is a good one um, for Black businesses. And if you want to sell products on Amazon, and this is this is another good thing about this one, y'all. It has no deadline. This is an ongoing program. So you can apply for this. Just Google it, the Black um, Business Accelerator. And you might want to go on Amazon or you might just want to Google it. So that's one way to get inf more information on that one. Then another one, uh, actually, the other two I'm going to be sharing about are actually geared towards um, businesses in Georgia. Um, and I guess I'm a little, a little um, geared toward Georgia because that's where I live now. I've been living here over 20 years now. So I'm always looking for opportunities, not necessarily federally, but statewide, you know, regional and, and locally. So this particular one is called the Small Business Relief Grant. The grants to Georgia small businesses in eligible locations for COVID-19 finance uh, relief. Let's see, it says funding source is Augusta Richmond County Board of Commissioners, Augusta Housing and Community Development. And I'm trying to see if it's, yes, it does say one of the eligibility criteria is your primary, it says business with their principal location inside Augusta, Richmond County. So meaning when they say principal location, that has to be like where your headquarters is. You can be located in other places in Georgia, but your headquarters or your principal address of doing business has to be in that region, all right? And these are some of the things that you need to look for when you're looking at grants. You don't qualify, you're not eligible for all grants. So some of them um, are geographical. So they have a lot to do with where you're located. And this particular one is one of those, all right? So this says for the description, and this one is ongoing as well. So it's no deadline, which is great. We love those. <laughs> so it says that grants up to $7,500 and grants up to 15,000 to Georgia small businesses in eligible locations for assistance in recovering from the financial impacts of COVID-19 crisis. Funding is intended to cover the overhead and operational expenses of businesses that demonstrate revenue loss during the pandemic. Businesses must be located in the city of Augusta or Richmond County. So you, you definitely have to be located in those areas. And the total estimate of the grant funding that they'll be giving is 1250000 So they're going to be giving out quite a few uh, grants uh, for this particular area and costs. The last one that, let's see, I think I might have talked about this one before, but I'll just share it again. It is uh, called the Bloom Innovation Microgrant. It is grants and in-kind support to Georgia individuals and organizations in eligible areas to promote creative ideas. 
All right, so this is another one that is geared toward a particular region. And it looks like that is in the Atlanta, Georgia region. Uh, it says grants up to $2,000 and in-kind support to Georgia individuals and organizations in eligible areas to promote innovative ideas. Funding is intended to launch creative entrepreneur projects and to help grantees learn about and understand their ecosystems. Um, there are other resources that would be offered, such as mentors, workshops, and more. Eligible projects benefit the Atlanta community. These grants will range in the um, amounts of $500 to $2,000. And you can go to jewishatlanta.org for more information on that. All right. So one of the things I want to point, about, point out about this particular grant is it says individuals and organizations. So basically that means you can apply for it just as a regular person. You don't have to have a business. You don't have to have an organization or uh, connected to one. You just have to have some type of innovative idea um, that helps others to learn about and understand ecosystems. That could be ecosystems about anything, you know. So to find out more about what they're talking about for that funding, you would need to go to that website. And again, that website is jewishatlanta.org. All right. I hope these have been helpful. If they're not for you, then hopefully you can pass them on to someone else because I'm sure at some point I will be sharing uh, uh, grant information on something that can help you to fund your purpose and your cause. I am so grateful that you had a chance to join me today and I look forward to next time. All right, thanks.